Good morning. For today's video, our topic is adding the similar fraction without regrouping, part two. But before that, let us check first our activity in part one. Find the sum of one third plus one fifth. And the answer is eight fifteenths. If you got eight fifteenths, then congratulations. Number two, find the sum of seven twelfths plus one fourth. And the answer is five sixth. If you got five sixth, then congratulations. Number three, find the sum one third plus two six. The answer is two third. If you got two third, then congratulations. Now, what is the similar fraction? The similar fraction is a fraction with different denominator. Again, what is the similar fraction? The similar fraction is a fraction with different denominator. For example, two-fifths, one-fourth, and three-sevenths. Their denominator is five, four, and seven, and they are all different. So it means that they are the similar fraction. What are the steps in adding the similar fraction? Step number one, add the whole number. If the given fraction is a mixed number, then we have to add first the whole number. Number two, determine the least common denominator or the LCD. Number three, divide the least common denominator or LCD with the previous denominator of the given fraction. Number four, multiply the quotient to the numerator. To get the new numerator. And number five, add the numerators. And finally, express your answer to its lowest term if possible. So let's start. So I have here one and three fourths plus five and one eighth. So first step, we have to add the whole numbers. So the whole numbers are one and five. So one plus five, the answer is six. Very good. Step number two, determine the least common denominator. And for us to determine the least common denominator, we need to identify first the denominator of the given fraction. In this case, one and three fourths. The denominator is four. While 
in 5 and 1 8 the denominator is 8 so let's get the lcd of 4 and 8 what are the prime factors of 4 or what number are we going to multiply that will give us a product of 4 again Always remember that we have to give the prime factors of the given number. So, the prime factors for 4 is 2 times 2. And how about 8? So, the prime factors for 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And because we have two pairs of two in four and eight, so we will cancel them. And the number that we canceled is the what we call the greatest common factor. So it means that the greatest common factor of four and eight is two times two or Simply, the greatest common factor is 4. So after we cancel the greatest common factor, we can now bring down all the remaining numbers. So 2 times 2 times 2. The first two numbers are in color red right because it signifies that these are the greatest common factor of 4 and 8 that's why when we multiply them 2 times 2 we get 4 so now let's get the lcd so 2 times 2 times 2 the least common denominator or LCD is 8. Very good. Now, we can now proceed with, of course, divide the LCD with the previous denominator. Then, multiply the quotient to the numerator to get the new numerator. So the LCD is 8. So 8 divided by 4, the answer is 2. 2 times 3, the answer is 6. So it means that the equivalent fraction of 3 fourths is 6 eighths. Next, 8 divided by 8. The answer is 1. 1 times 1. The answer is 1. So 1 8 is equal to 1 8. Remember that when a fraction has a numerator of 1, it means that it is already in its lowest term. So next, add the numerators. So we have 6 8 plus 1 8. The numerator is 6 and 1. So 6 plus 1 is equals to 7. Then copy the denominator 8. So the fraction now is 7 eighths. And since that the numerator and the denominator are consecutive, it means that the given fraction is in lowest term. So we do not need to get 
the lowest term of the fraction because it is already in the simplest form. So, the final answer is 6 plus 7 eighths is equal to 6 and 7 eighths. Clear? Very good. Now, let's play. Hi, my name is Mateo. Come and let's play with me. Let's answer. Find the sum. Number one. Four and two thirds plus seven and one six. Again, four and two thirds plus seven and one six. Number two. One and one seven plus eight and one third again one and one seven plus eight and one third last number two and two ninths plus nine and three eighteenths Again, two and two ninths plus nine and three eighteenths. Always remember the similar fraction is a fraction with different denominator. So, what are the steps in adding the similar fraction? So, first, add the whole number. Next, determine the least common denominator or LCD. Divide the LCD with the previous denominator. Multiply the quotient to the numerator to get the new numerator. Number five, add the numerators and finally express your answer to its lowest term if possible thanks for watching do not forget to like comment share and subscribe bye